I'm not looking swole. Yeah, as in I feel like a fat past week, I've just, you know, my parents want to try every type of food there is. We don't even have like certain types of food in the UK, right? Like at least in Wales, there's no like a good American barbecue spot. I took my parents to an American barbecue spot because they were like, we're so tired of fish, Connor. We don't want it anymore. We want to have meat. I was like, you want meat? I got you. And I'm more than happy to go because I love American barbecue. So I was like, let's go. You take them to Hooters? <laughs> yeah. I know, a, I know a spot. Is it decent? Yeah, I, I think uh, I, I was a British man who has had American barbecue in Texas, as well as Kansas City, which I think is more than most Americans. Um, it's it, it holds up. It's not as good, but considering you are in a Nippon, I think uh, being able to get something that's even comparable is pretty decent. My dude, you have to try Argentinian BBC. It's called Asado. What? BBC? I have to try BBC from... Argentina? Wait, we're taking them to Yakiniku. I have, I have, they, they love Yakiniku. Maybe they meant BBQ. C and Q are far away from each other on the keyboard. That's my only concern. They're, they're quite far away. <laughs> Brazilian barbecue. I went to, what's that one chain in America that everyone goes to? The Brazilian barbecue chain, I went to that. It was, it was decent. It was, it was decent. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Nah, that's too far away. Oh yeah, Fogo de Chao. That's the one I went to. That's the one I went to. That was pretty, that was pretty good. I mean, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I wish, uh, so for you guys who don't know, who uh, live in another country and you haven't been to these uh, kind of strange restaurants, America loves to like try and make everything into a thing. Like everything's got to have a thing to it. And so they have these Brazilian barbecue spots. There's one, there's a popular chain that I went, I've been to a couple of times in LA. Called the uh, Fogo de Chao, as chat reminded me. And uh, they have this, system which americans seem to talk fondly about to me which i hate they'll just come around like they'll they'll like come around with like meat and they'll be like do you want a cut of this meat it's like brisket and you're like oh that's awesome and then uh, two seconds later they'll be like we got sausage like oh okay yeah I'll, yeah okay i'll have that like oh do you want burnt ends you're like oh okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah actually yeah all right okay that's it that's it my plate's full and like we have chicken thigh you're like okay i'll, I'll take it my plate can physically fit it on and then they're like, and then you use the card. Yeah, so then they, and then when you're done, like I am, which is, which I'm truly never, never done. You can, you can flip over your card. And now I've been three times and out of two of the three times this has happened where after the first initial onslaught of meat, you, you get like every meat will come to your table in like the space of like two minutes. And then, and then for the rest of the restaurant, you have to like trying to find someone to give you a piece of meat is like flagging down like a like an attendant for you like hey hey uh over here over here and i noticed that they just they just went to like the newer tables like people who just sat down they would just like abandon you if you'd been there for like if you've already had a rotation of meat and so i'm the asshole i'm asking like 19 times hey can you bring the sausage back i really like the sausage bring it back I, and then I, I remember we had to ask like eight times for them to actually bring the sausage back and then one of our guys went to the toilet and so he didn't get any and we, we try to be like, hey, could you put some on this plate? They're like, ah, nah. It was just, a, it was like, I feel like it was a bad system. I could have just ordered the meat that I wanted or the stuff that I wanted, right? Like, hey, we, we all want sausage. Hey, could you just throw us a sausage? Hey, just give me it. I'll cut it up. I'll, I'll serve it to everyone. I don't mind. Achieve, that's why. It's true. But it's like, it, it, I feel like it baby fires the experience for me. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like a toddler when I'm there. Like they haven't trusted us to order our own meats. We have to come around with some fucking conveyor belt of, of, of squires holding their, their swords of meat. And I have to like request it, you know? I feel like I'm not a big fan of that. I would rather just sit down and then just order what we want. It's to save money. No, I know it is, I know it is. The one benefit of the system is that you often would try stuff that you might not get to try, which I think is a, is a good, good thing, obviously. But at the same time, I feel like, eh. In the UK, we have no barbecue places. Yeah, UK actually, now that I think about it, doesn't have a lot of, I mean, I'm sure there is a spot somewhere, but at least when I w lived there, there was like nowhere barbecue or there was no good Mexican places either. So the UK struggles, the UK struggles. I also took my parents for, uh, I know a really good uh, taco spot here. Dude, uh, there's a Japanese guy who lived in like Mexico for 20 years and he's super chill, very nice. And uh, he makes, he makes really good tacos. And so I took my parents and my, my mom, my mom took one bite and she goes, wow, I think this might be one of my best meals in Japan. And I was like, what? I've taken you to like the finest Japanese cuisine. 
we've had every single amazing Japanese food, and then the, the Mexican food. This was your favorite. I mean, look, I, honestly, there's a. I can understand. I think that there are seldom dishes that would be higher than a, an amazing Mexican dish on my list. E e Japanese food is amazing, but Mexican food is also top tier. So I can understand the sentiment. What's wrong with great tacos? Hell yeah. Did you ever go to the restaurant in Swansea where they hang chicken skewers from beams? No. Back then, I, I didn't really go to restaurants. When I was when I was a, a, a wee boy at 18, 19, I thought restaurants for were for awkward family gatherings and uh, if I had to impress a date. And even then, I would think like, man, I really don't want to spend that much. I feel like 60 pounds for food is way too much money. Uh, now my whole life is is uh, basically built around I want to go and spend time with my friends at nice nice restaurants and eat some good food. It doesn't have to be expensive, but just like good food. That's like all I, that's like my entire life is what I love doing. Do you like shawarma? I love shawarma. Love shawarma. Yeah, I don't know. Well, because back then I thought the only thing I wanted to do when I was 19 was play League of Legends. Uh, and now I realize there are things that are better than that in life. <laughs> um, have you had a bunning snag in Australia? I have. It's very good. Like TFT. No, 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 no. Play League in restaurants? Yep. Well, when I first discovered what a gaming cafe was, I was like, this is the future. And then I realized, wait, why would I want to pay per hour to play games that I can play at home? This is not the future. I could just, this, is, this is not the future at all, I lied. And I had to dress nicer? Nah. No, thank you.